this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. In this video we're going to take a look at a few of the most common types of planes that we can create. Uh, I've heard it often where people just don't understand how to create some planes so hopefully this video will help with that process. The most common type of plane that we can create is an offset plane. So if we use the reference geometry drop down from the command manager, go to plane, all we really have to do is come in and select a face or a plane that we want to offset from. We come in and control the offset distance and if we want multiple planes with that same distance we can come in and use the instance counter to increase the number. Let's cancel out of that. Another thing that we can do fairly easily is create an offset from the front top or right plane. So if we select on the front plane and just control drag that automatically jumps us into the plane creation tool where we can also put in a distance to offset the plane. The next type of plane that we're going to look at is an angled plane. So with this we need a face to angle about and then an axis line to go about as well. It defaults to perpendicular, but we come in and change the angle. Maybe we change that to 15 degrees. And again, we can come in and you know, flip the direction if we want to do you know, positive or negative 15 and increase the count just like the offset plane. Let's see what other kinds of planes we can create. If we come in and maybe use a face and a point, it's going to come in and let us create an offset plane at that specific point. Now if that point moves, the plane will move with it. Another type of plane might be a, a mid plane. If we come in and select uh, an angled face here and an angled face here, it automatically switches to a mid plane. So that's a very useful uh, option if we don't have a, a mirroring plane right in the middle of our part. A lot of times planes with cylindrical surfaces uh, can get confusing. So let's see what we can do with that. Uh, we're going to choose the cylinder, but it's still wanting additional information. If we come in and maybe choose the, the front plane, again it defaults to perpendicular, but if we choose an angle, then we can come in and change the angle of the plane. It's just using something as a reference to go by to, to measure the angle. That works you know, pretty good, but sometimes we might want to control it a little bit differently. So another type of plane we can create is a plane that is perpendicular to a line at a, a given endpoint. So what I've done is sketched a simple uh, couple construction lines on the top of this cylinder, and I've got it controlled with an angle dimension. So basically, we've got a plane there that's right on the tangent end of that cylinder that we can use to sketch other stuff on. Another plane that we might look at uh, would be to come in and if we choose a face um, you know, parallel and perpendicular those kind of kind of make sense. Um, if we've got multiple um, cylindrical faces though we can come in and say make a plane that's tangent to those guys you know flipping the tangent on that guy kind of makes sense on the, the the radius you know not so much but there we've got a nice tangent tangent plane between those two cylinders so those are some of the main types of planes that we can create uh, they should be able to get us through most geometry that we need uh, so again, this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video helpful. Mm -hmm.